Yes, this is so great, Mattel finally got it right! No time for chit chat, we'll look at this figure, and this figure, and this figure, and this figure, and the Ares Build-A-Figure, but first a quick review. We've already done a review of these three figures. This is the Batman vs. Superman Wonder Woman that we affectionately refer to as Man-Face Wonder Woman. This is Wonder Woman in the cloak, and this is Hippolyta. On to this figure from the film, which they label Diana of the Mascara. This one earns a full point for sculpt, some nice detail on the hair with the braid there. The skirt looks good too, the sandal straps. For likeness, it only gets a half point. Yes, it looks like Diana from the Mascara, but does it look like Gal Gadot? Nah, they're still not quite there yet. For articulation, this earns a half point, not a lot of range on the head, just the side to side. The shoulders are typical, single joint at the wrist. It does have a bicep twist and the uh, wrist twist as well. No ab crunch, just a twist. The splits are pretty much not happening, although it does have the upper thigh cut as opposed to what they've been doing lately around the upper knee. Uh, single joint at the knee and then just kind of an up and down on the leg, not really a twist. As far as paint, this one's pretty much a fail. It could have made the difference on this head sculpt. It can't seem to stay inside the lines as far as some of the coloring. Some areas it gets a little sloppy. So this figure earns a two out of four on the slap scale. Now onto the Steve Trevor figure played by Chris Pine. This one gets a full point on sculpt. A lot of nice detail here in the hair, the ribbing on the shirt, the texture of the jacket and the overcoat, even the pants. For likeness, we're going to give this one a full point as well. Really not too bad. Is it a dead on Chris Pine? No, but it's pretty good. Articulation is the weak point on this figure. It gets a half point, only a side to side on the head. They trade a hip twist for an ab crunch, kind of, and that's where he twists. As far as the arms go, a little bit limited there. Uh, just kind of a single joint. The wrists do twist there. Legs, no splits at all. Does do a little bit of forward and back. Uh, a thigh cut, a single joint at the knee, which is so tight I'm afraid it's going to break, and then just an up and down on the foot. And for paint, full point on this figure. The hair looks fantastic. Lots of nice highlights there. They've got some nice little points of detail here on the buttons and on the belts and uh, the shoes. Some nice kind of texturing and weathering there, too. So this Steve Trevor figure gets a three and a half out of four on the slap scale. Now onto a figure I picked up at Toys R Us. This is Manelope. As far as the sculpt on this figure, it earns a full point with some nice detail. And in the costume itself, lots of nice little details that really make all the difference. For likeness, not a dead-on match with the actress, but it does look like Manelope from the film. And by the way, it looks like she might be in Justice League as well. We'll give it a half point. She earns a half point for articulation as well, similar to the other figures, just a side to side, no up and down. She's got the uh, joint at the elbow, a bicep cut, actually a little lower than bicep cut, which looks okay on this side because it's got that wrap but on this side it's just kind of in the middle of nowhere which looks stupid uh, on the elbow uh, it's uh, got uh, a single joint and then the wrist twist in the middle and then uh, she's got a little bit better flexibility than the other figures uh, but not too much uh, a kind of lower mid thigh cut there single joint at the knee and the foot just goes back and forth and as far as the paint for this one, it's very close to a full point, but going to go half point just because it's a little sloppy in some areas. So this figure of Manelope earns two and a half out of four on the slap scale. Oh, and now so excited because Mattel finally got it right, I think. This is the Toys R Us Wonder Woman figure. As far as the sculpt goes on this figure, full point. Very nicely done. For likeness, this is where Mattel finally got it right with Wonder Woman. Is it a dead-on Gal Gadot? No. But is it much better than those other faces? Yes, by a mile. Likeness? Full point. They've grown leaps and bounds in likeness. However, articulation, they've taken a step backwards. No movement on the head at all. This hair is kind of plastered to her body. I think maybe if you moved it around a little, you might get some, but not much. No twist at the waist. She's glued there, I think, because of this belt. As far as the arms go, the usual. You've got the elbow. You've got a bicep. You've got a single joint there and the wrists. Uh, as far as the knees, a uh, thigh cut, single joint knee, and the leg goes up and down. Not much of a splits on this Wonder Woman. As far as the paint goes, if I were being really picky, I might give this a half point because there are a couple of little flaws here and there. But for the most part, I'd say it looks pretty good. So we'll give that a full point. This whole figure gets a three out of four on the slap scale. And finally, piece by piece, we've put him together, the Ares Build-A-Figure. 
As far as the sculpt on this bad boy, nothing to complain about. It looks fantastic. You can see some great texture there on the chest and the armor. Of course, this headpiece is phenomenal. Full point for the sculpt. As far as the likeness goes, this headpiece does not come off, so there's really no way to compare it to the actor himself, although uh, we do get the benefit of this covering up any potential mustache. <laughs> Full point. As far as articulation goes, you're not going to get a lot of movement from the head, a little up and down, a little side to side. Shoulder joint, bicep cut, single joint at the uh, elbow, but it does have a twist here just below the elbow. Interesting. A wrist twist as well. He's got an ab crunch. It's little, but it's there. He's also got a twist at the waist and a pretty good split sideways and uh, forward and back. Considering all the armor, that's not too bad. A thigh cut right about there, a single joint at the leg, which is a bit of a bummer, but he's just too muscular to move much more than that. And then the foot just goes back and forth. I'll be generous on this one because I'm digging it. Full point for articulation. And as far as the paint goes, I am loving this. Just the, uh, the wash, the mix of colors on this head sculpt here is just phenomenal. Even in the teeth. And then the uh, suit itself, the armor parts with kind of this metallic sheen uh, that's kind of got some blue but silver in there as well it's just great and then a flat black matte finish on these other pieces which really sets it off nice full point so this build a figure of Ares gets four out of four on the slap scale if you like this style of breakneck speed review be sure to leave a comment below and slap that thumbs up button Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If so, be sure to slap that thumbs up and share it with your friends. Click our circular logo in the top left to subscribe to our channel. It's absolutely free. And there's a link to another video you might like in the bottom left. If you want to reach out to us, comment or check out our info in the description below. And above all, remember, God loves you. It's the truth. And Jesus is the proof. The Unbox Boys.